Bussin, bussin, bussin. Like, I could not stop saying it. I put up a Christmas tree. Hi, hello, and welcome to my doctor's office where I'm diagnosing you with terminal cancer. If you're at all second guessing my opinion and want to check on my credentials, you can feel free to contact the For You page. This problem started out as just a normal TikTok trend that blew up into a genre and shoved its foot through the doors of normalcy. And now these self diagnosed DID frog head wearing 15 year olds are polluting the public. My public. I can't go anywhere. I'm in fear for my life. For those who are new here, I'll do my quick review of the disorder ladder. At the top is faking disorders as a whole, and the usual fan favorites, DID and Tourette's, but today we're gonna try to give the other fakers a chance to shine. I love secondhand embarrassment. Cheers. Artistically eating mini pretzels. Wow, okay, so eating food means you're autistic? I must be fucked. There's so many videos on TikTok where people list the traits of autism and only include the most vague, general ones that could apply to any human being on Earth. Oh, you know how you take mini bites of food sometimes? Uh, that's actually a hashtag autistic thing, if you were unaware. Oh, you prefer to eat with smaller spoons that fit in your mouth? You have autism, by the way. Random things I didn't know were autistic traits. Very ticklish. Feel empathy and don't feel sympathy. Cool, great. So not only are we being vague now, uh, but we're lying too. Having autism doesn't mean you don't care about anyone. It just means that you might have a harder time recognizing what emotions people are feeling. No, I don't think my childhood ruined me that bad. Playing games when things get bad. Wow, it must have been so bad. I mean, you, you had to start gaming. It was so bad. God, I wish they'd stop arguing. Please stop fighting, please. I know what I have to do. When things get bad, I know. This next one contains one of my favorite warfare tactics, which is just allowed and confident equals correct, except there's so many plot holes it almost feels ironic. I'm seeing more and more professionals on this app getting upset at people spreading misinformation when they're just sharing their firsthand experiences, or they're getting mad at us for self-diagnosing because it's so dangerous. They quote professionals as if getting a degree in medicine isn't an actual accomplishment. Everyone knows that doctors are faking it. Uh, they're not real and equipped to handle anything. You know who is though? This one right here. Okay, let's use a little bit of logic. First of all, the research that's out there for ADHD and ASD, it's garbage. It's ableist. I know that because I'm reading it. I know you're not reading it though. You guys aren't up to date. Oh yeah, you know, we're all just stupid uh, and don't know anything and we need to bow down on our hands and knees under Jack Frost here. Clearly, we're all too unintelligent to even begin to understand something of this caliber, something of such godly nature that only this person could comprehend. In order to understand something like this, you would have to have your hair fried off of your head and look like pyrocynical popped you out. Second of all, I think the outrage is for one of two reasons. One, you're losing control of us being able to identify ourselves, a privilege you've had since birth. In the comments under this video, there was a lot of discourse back and forth regarding this sentence and if autism should be considered an identity. It's definitely a part of your identity, but comparing it to a privilege that you've had since birth is a very far stretch, like an arm fractured spine shattering stretch. Oh, you know, there's a seven year old who came up to me named Lola and she actually told me that she has autism. She came up to me and said, I identify as autistic. It's just the way this person throws around the term identity as if it's a golden ticket to the autism club is gross. And two, you think there's a possibility that a neurotic Typical might misdiagnose themselves as, say, autistic. So, why is that so bad? Want to know why that's bad, Mr. Frost? It's because that person is now wielding the autism sword of representation. That person's now going to log on to TikTok and post a video of them vibing to music and tag it with hashtag stimming. Hashtag actually autistic. And then there's going to be a little kid in the comments going, hey, I do this too. Do I have autism? And they're going to bounce around for a while talking to the wrong people, getting the wrong information, and they're going to end up developing a factitious disorder. It's a lot bigger than just me want access to the club. Me want to be a part of something. There's such a large overlap when it comes to the symptoms of ADHD, autism, and anxiety that they're just so similar. And when you're presenting autism as this all-knowing, all-containing diagnosis, you're sabotaging people from getting treated from the shit that they might actually have. They start accommodating themselves. They start putting supports in their lives that make their life easier. Supports that honestly would help everyone. Yes, but what you're not talking about are those supports are usually limited in some sort of way and you're going to be taking them away from someone who might actually need them. If a person suspects that they need uh, accommodations, getting a real life correct diagnosis from a real life doctor can help you pinpoint what exactly support systems that you need implemented into your life to make it easier. And it's a lot better than shooting in the dark, missing, and then hurting someone else in the process. But the reverse of that situation is you gatekeep those identities from neurodivergence and they get misdiagnosed as neurotypical. It's like they're allergic to the term diagnosis. That costs us our lives. The number one cause of deletion of autistic people who don't have intellectual disabilities is self-deletion. I feel like this person doesn't understand a word of what they're saying. In the beginning of this video, you said that all of the research online for autism is garbage, but now you're giving me statistics um, off of Google for autistic people. And what do you think is going to stop those rates of diagnosis? Because those, those are the people who are diagnosed. Uh, so you're not really solving anything. You're just grasping for sympathy points. So if you think you're autistic, you are. 
Welcome to the community. Yeah! Welcome, Welcome to the community. To the community. Yes! Yay. Autism! I can't wait to die earlier. That was the most mind-boggling, contradictory TikTok I've ever seen. You're encouraging people to go self-diagnose by using the same research online that you've deemed garbage. What does that then say about their diagnosis if what they're basing it off of is inaccurate? If I didn't know any better, I'd assume that person was faking DID just off the way that they were arguing with themselves. Just found out I have chronic pain, so sorry if I don't post much. Oh, you just found that out? Like, right now, there's nothing telling you that before, or maybe giving you a hint. Now, I know what you're all thinking right now. You're feeling left out of these cool clubs and communities, and you want to be a part of them. Well, don't worry. Because I'm going to tell you a, a little secret. You're welcome. I hope you're eternally grateful. And if autism isn't your thing, don't worry, because they have other videos too. Uh, they have DID, ADHD, diabetes, uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Who wouldn't want something like that? I'm a minor and got diagnosed with BPD. How? Psychiatrist lady saw me and said, mm-hmm, and then I got funky medication and papers with therapy. Right. Hey, I want to have leukemia. I mean, I want to know if I have leukemia. Mm-hmm. Wait. I do? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Here's your funky medication. Awesome. I want you all to prepare yourselves for this next TikTok because I can only describe the level of discomfort as an out-of-body uh, experience. AAVE stimming. My least favorite thing about uh, my ADHD slash autism. Right, slash, because those are the same diagnosis, uh, as everyone knows. And because I was masking so hard, I didn't got a, get a lot of ways to stem. You know, I did a lot of hand motions. And so, like, I feel like I was always attracted to AAVE. Yeah, I know. I know. They know. So self-aware. So progressive. And I grew up in a white town. Yeah. So, no exposure. But, hey, there's TikTok. A white town? It must have been so hard for you. Also, only using TikTok to educate yourself? That's a whole other issue this person has. And there's also some good old lighthearted bullying. <laughs> <laughs> which I needed, um... They know. So self-aware. So progressive. There was a week I was going, oh my god, that's bussin'. Bussin', bussin', bussin'. Like, I could not stop saying it. When it comes to stims, the crazy thing is, and I know, this might sound foreign and unbelievable, but you can actually change those. You don't have to do that. Bussin', bussin', bussin'. Ever, ever again. You don't have to. Yeah, just kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. They know. So self-aware. So progressive. My cat keeps playing with my charger. Dude, you're such a little shit. Fuck you, you're grounded. I love you, but you're a whore. But I like whores, so like... Like a lot, actually. I don't know why I use that. I is that- are those bugs and that light? Oh, I forgot they have ADHD autism. That must be the culprit. They got too distracted by saying- Bussin, bussin, bussin. That they forgot to extend their neck past a 30 degree angle upwards. Stand United. I don't know this symbol for it. I think, isn't that just power or like, is that just specifically a black thing? I wonder if they're aware that TikTok is a very public platform. My favorite part of this is that they're trying so hard to save it. I guess I could just go like this because like it's different, right? I don't know the differences. It's hard to like Google that stuff. Like, oh, and I feel like AAVE is just more like got personality because white people are as dull as a fucking cracker without salt on it. Uh -huh. White culture. They know. So self-aware. So progressive. Really attracted to that, but obviously it's not my language. I feel like I take a little bit from it, like y'all. I will never give up y'all. Like, I like it. I'm keeping that. Um. Wow. That was dreadful. I honestly was half expecting them to show a tattoo on their wrist with the word woke. <laughs> Uh, POTS? Hey, that's a condition people fake. Anyone, I love drinking pickle juice. Me, have you heard of POTS? Yeah, because POTS is actually diagnosed based off of your vinegar consumption throughout the week. It actually stands for Pickle Obsessed Thirsty Stroke. Uh, where if you don't receive pickle juice, you die of a stroke within seven days. I'm not sure why people love faking POTS, but it's definitely becoming one of the favorites. I literally passed out. Who were you reaching for? Was God in that corner? Usually when people pass out, their feet don't hang in the air. I feel like they didn't even try to make this look realistic. I give you a negative 10 out of 10 and half those points are off because you have aqua walls. Having Ellers danlos syndrome is so fun. These people want to be Ella at all times. Like go to Chernobyl and touch the elephant's foot and then come back to me. Funny, yes, but not funny haha. -ha. 
funny autistic. Yeah, because enjoying the taste of food and wanting to eat it last uh, to savor it uh, means you have autism. I'm leaving to go staple my eyes shut and to flaunt my new autism diagnosis around like a season pass to Six Flags. At the end of this, there's gonna be a little button for you to click and I'll take you to the video from last week, uh, which YouTube limited it, so limited did limited. So if you don't mind watching, it would help me out a lot. Thanks. Also, here's this. Bye.